Hey everyone, welcome back to another web hosting video tutorial. In this video, I wanted to show you a possible fix to an issue that you may run into when using the LightCell instance and hosting a WordPress website on it. Uh, for those of you that use uh, the popular uh, instance plans from LightCell, the, either the three and a half dollar plan or the five dollar plan, and you use the WordPress image managed by Bitnami, you may have experienced um, at times that your instance becomes unresponsive or it can no longer handle any requests for your website and is just plain stuck and you have to reboot the instance. You may even see uh, in the logs or notice in the logs that there are page speed issues. Um, so what is recommended by Bitnami is to disable page speed because uh, those smaller instance plans may not have enough resources to run paid speed correctly and therefore your instance runs out of resources and therefore becomes unresponsive. Um, I've shown how to disable paid speed in many of my other video tutorials but I decided to create a dedicated video about this in case you're running into this very specific issue. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so let me just quickly show you the options that I'm talking about in my intro. So if you're on the Linux platform and you're using one of these two blueprints, WordPress or multi-site, and you're primarily on these popular instances, uh, which many of us start out with, the three and a half dollar instance or the five dollar instance, I believe these are micro and small or something like that. But if you're using one of these, as you'll see here, the memory footprint here is 512 megabytes and here it's one gigabyte and both of them have uh, just one virtual CPU assigned to it. So when you're on these instances and maybe you might be running into it on uh, this instance as well, uh, you're uh, bound to run into these type of errors. Um, right here, this is a, a post on uh, Vietnamese community forum. As you'll see here that you'll see some of these type of errors in your lock file. And what is happening is that when, you're, when your server is throwing these errors, your instance is pretty much unresponsive. Uh, you can't get to the website and you may not be even able to log in uh, through SSH, uh, through the SSH um, uh, terminal. And what you end up having to do is uh, you have to basically reboot to gain any type of access back into the server. So what Vietnami recommends is to disable the page speed service that comes on by default on all of the WordPress uh, blueprints uh, when you're creating instances on LightCell. If you're not using LightCell, you still may be running into this type of issue, so always just check if your uh, server has uh, services that are running and you don't need them or they're recommended to be turned off for certain situations, those services are just taking up extra resources from your website. So you always want to optimize uh, your server and not run anything that's really not needed for your website. So in our case here, for Vietnami uh, WordPress images, page speed may not necessarily be helpful. Um, so here's how to quickly disable it. So go into your uh, server through SSH. You can either use the web-based SSH terminal or um, use a locally installed SSH client. So the quickest way to disable page speed is to modify the HTTPD comp. This is the Apache comp. So you'll type in sudo vi and then the path to the file and it's located in slash opt vietnami apache comp http.com file and then you're going to scroll down all the way to the bottom or you can just type in uh, a forward slash to do a search and just type page speed and that brings you to the two lines that we need to comment so go to the beginning of the line hit i and then with the pound key to comment that line out and then the next line as well the pound key and escape and then to save the file colon wq 
And by the way, I'm using the VI editor, so the, the commands that I just uh, said are for VI. If you're using a different editor, then all you need to do is just comment those two lines out and save the file. Uh, next, what we want to do is also flush the cache that's already in PageSpeed. So to do that, you'll run this command, sudo touch, and then this is the path. Uh, both of these commands uh, and paths I will have on my website, webhostingforbeginners.net. So check that out if you just want to copy and paste, just like I do. So we'll run that. And then finally, we will restart Apache for these changes to take effect. And hit restart. And there you go. Just make sure that your website still loads. If for a reason it doesn't, then just go back and look at the configuration. Make sure you didn't make any mistakes in making those changes. All right, well, if you have been running into this type of issue and did not know how to solve it, I hope you found this video useful. If it did, please put those down in the comments below. Like the video, share it with others that may benefit from this as well. If you are interested in these type of video tutorials, make sure to subscribe and sign up for the notifications. And, uh, until the next video, take care.